Good point. Well, let's see how, how it works. The first thing is the student gives the teacher a microphone, right, Alex? Yeah, exactly. So pretend I'm the deaf student. All right. You're the teacher. Here okay. Now, it's at this point, I guess, where we meet Victoria, who's the re-speaker. Now, she's not going to be in the same room. She's probably not going to be in the schools. She could, frankly, be in Iceland, but she might well be working from doing this job from her own home, yeah? Correct. Yeah, okay. So I then uh, start the lesson now. Thanks, Mark. And we will see... We will see... ...what Alexis. comes up on Alex's what comes screen. On Alex's right, class, today we're going to learn about a great so man, a man of inspiration, James O'Loughlin, who uh, was... Possibly the greatest he was possibly adventurer the greatest and adventurer. Uh, seducer uh, ever and found seducer in the history of civilization. In the history of civilization, full stop. <laughs> Any questions, class? <laughs> Any questions? Question mark. Okay, great. Well, come over to the panel. Please thank uh, Victoria. Uh, Andy, you can have a seat right up the end so Alex uh, can see you. And um, James. Do teachers need to change the way they're teaching? Do they need to slow down, or can you get the same speed? They don't need to change the way they speak, but they do need to repeat students' questions because they're the only one with a mic. Chris, Tony 